What's up, what's up everybody? Simon here in this episode or video. I am super excited to talk about the new Robin Hood Gold card, which comes actually in two versions, a stainless steel and a 10 karat gold. In this video, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna compare it to some of the other cards out there. It's definitely much better than the debit card that they've released in the past and I'm impressed. So let's get right into this gold card video. As a reminder, I'm going to link a sign up below. If 10 of you sign up for the gold card, which has a zero annual fee, I'll get a chance to review the gold version of the card, which weighs 36 grams. So let's talk about this. So Robinhood is trying to figure out or solve a problem. It feels like credit cards only focus on a certain sector and the gold card is supposed to solve all of your needs. Not only is the gold card one of the best cards for cash back, offering up to 3% cash back on all of your spending, which is incredible. The only one I know that compares would be the Capital uh, One Quick Spark card that is 2% at the moment from what I understand, which is also very good. But at 3%, that is a big difference. And then if you spend with or if you use the Robinhood Gold Card on travel through their new Travel Port app, you're going to get up to 5% cash back. And that is a whopping amount in my opinion. I don't see anyone else offering 5% cash back on the card. Now, when they say cash back, they're actually giving you a rebate in terms of rolling it over to the Robinhood app for investment. You're, you could roll it over to Apple products, some of their partnering sites. You could also go ahead and get gift cards with it and so forth. So I'm wondering if they're gonna be able to also offer you a pay down on your credit card bill. So Robinhood is solving a problem by enabling travel, spending, rewards, cash back, and basically having an all around card that also has zero foreign transaction fees and get this, a zero dollar annual fee. Go ahead, sign up in the link below if you're interested and I will be able to potentially review the gold version of the card and compare it to the Amex Centurion card. Now the cash back at 3%, What's great about it is it's unilateral. It's through all the categories. A lot of these credit card companies, what they do is they only offer you cash back at on certain categories. Like for example, travel would be 2%, grocery shopping 1%, so forth. And it's so much to track. With the Robinhood Gold Card, which comes again in stainless steel at about 17 grams, and then the gold version at about 36 grams, which is hefty, offers you cash back on all spending categories and then five percent cash back on travel when you book through their travel portal which they're developing and points can be redeemed as cash after reading more into this card not only that they can also be redeemed at some of their partner sites as i mentioned earlier apple bloomingdale's you could invest with the robin hood app and the two apps are supposed to be seamless i think they're reimagining what a credit card could do and they're making sure that a credit card is your best friend in terms of spending in all in one platform. You could track your expenses, you could track your payments, you could track your recurring payments. You can even add up to five family members who would get their own card under your account and without any additional fees and they'll be able to spend set limits on their cards. For example, your daughter or son, they could have a $500 monthly deposit. Your girlfriend could have a thousand if you're feeling nice and your wife could have 1500. Whatever you want is possible with this Robinhood gold card as you add members to your account. What's great about some of the benefits is they're actually giving you a great travel perk benefit. Now there are no lounges that Robinhood currently owns, However, you have trip interruption protection, auto damage protection in case you get a loan or a lease, purchase security, warranty protection, return protection. You do get a concierge travel service. Of course, you get emergency assistance and roadside assistance while you're traveling. And you should check the fine prints to see what amounts that covers. However, that is 
a lot to pack into a card with a $0 annual fee. I think they're trying to boost their deposits in the Robinhood app itself with these rewards that they're giving back, but they're also giving you a great product. One thing I really love about this Robinhood gold card is the virtual cards that they offer. So basically what you're able to do is if you're on a sketchy site or you want to make a one-time purchase but not give someone your credit card number for more than the amount that you're going to be spending, you could get a virtual card number manage the spending of that, make it a one-time card, make it a recurring charge, and really just have protection and privacy with that single card number out there. Also, if you lose your card, you could get a new card number instantly as well. This allows you to easily cancel subscription payments. It allows you to really manage and protect your spending, especially on sketchy sites or maybe sites that you don't trust or see every day. Card members could be any age as well, so that's a great way to track spending, create credit with your family members. And as I mentioned earlier, setting spending limits is gonna be a great benefit of the card through their app. Robinhood Gold is gonna work with the existing Robinhood app, but it's gonna give you even more in-depth app for tracking all of your spending. And again, you could roll over your cash back into the investment portfolio and purchase either cryptocurrency or stocks. The app is supposed to allow visualization of your spending, understanding how you're spending, limit your spending, and also have more control and flexibility of where your money is going. The virtual part of it will allow you to regulate your subscription services a lot better. Now there's a wait list for the Robinhood Gold which comes in stainless steel and it's a gorgeous looking card. It's obviously painted gold in the stainless steel version as I mentioned. If 10 of you sign up I'll get the gold version which is a Visa signature card and it reminds me of the JP Morgan reserve card which I reviewed and that card weighed a lot. I believe it was 28 grams from when I weighed it. The 36 gram Robinhood gold card seems even better. And I'm excited to do a review on it because I do feel like it's time for someone to come out with a hefty card. Now, I don't know too many companies out there offering a gold card with zero annual fee, which is incredible in my opinion and really worth considering this gold card now that it comes with no foreign transaction fees, no annual fee, unrivaled 3% cash back, 5% cash back on travel, a concierge service, travel benefits and perks. Now they're not giving you money back or incentives such as gym memberships or luggage or travel credits, but they're giving you the basics for travel necessary, including no foreign transaction fees. Visas accepted everywhere, including a lot more locations than American Express or Discover. And having this type of card with a no annual fee, I think really says a lot about the package Robinhood is trying to offer. Referring 10 friends to this card that includes you gets me a solid gold version. I really want to do a review of that solid gold version. So click the link below that I have included in this review and sign up if you wish to do so. That'll allow me to get the gold version to do a first person review with you. Now, Robinhood marketing team, if you see this, go ahead, reach out to us. I'd love to do a review with you guys as well. So with the new look coming to the Robinhood app to incorporate more of a lifestyle feel that they're trying to do, incorporation of your spending and your investing, this is gonna be a great addition to the Robinhood app, development of their credit card and their network. Visa Signature is a great offering in my opinion, and I think this is gonna work well with the way that they've presented this package for Robinhood users, as well as any credit card enthusiasts out there, including myself. Now, will this card rival the American Express Platinum? I don't think so in terms of benefits right now and perks. However, you're not paying $800 or $700 a year getting some of these benefits. Will it rival the Centurion card? No, I don't think so. You're not paying the 10,000 membership fee one time or the 5,000 annual fee. And will it rival the American Express Platinum card? No, because you're paying a $800 a year annual fee and a, well, there's no one-time membership fee. However, the gold card has a $0 annual fee and it offers so much it weighs and probably looks just as cool as some of the offerings from American Express Platinum and of course the Centurion. Now, what's missing from this whole equation 
is the lounge access robin hood obviously doesn't have lounges where for example amex platinum and amex centurion you have the centurion lounge which is well worth the benefit in my opinion so robin hood great job coming out with a better credit card than you did with the debit card i'm excited i'll review it look at the link below sign up if you wish to do so and i'll hopefully get my hands on the gold version if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done so check out the ideal hour podcast where i have great guests on my podcast that discuss all sorts of finance investing and life things I'll check you guys here in the next video.